It was a, a flat day of trade, not too much of a downside, but I must say, despite the Nasdaq looking very strong after the NVIDIA guidance, our markets did not kind of catch that flavor. So when we shut shop, the Nasdaq was up about 1.7% higher, but our markets ended absolutely flat. The only respite was that the advance decline was in favor of the advances, which is a good point. And from amongst pockets, I think the one pocket that stood out for me today was hotels. Maybe because uh, the holiday season is at, at its peak and hotel companies are saying or hospitality companies are saying that ARRs are steady and high. Maybe that is helping. Now, um, on the index, it was a flattish move. Tata Motors was slightly lower. Some other stocks were slightly higher. The real action was beyond the index. So when you look at the top movers, NCC, big gains, up about 7% after the fears around the Karnataka government not stopping payments uh, uh, were dissipated. Tejas Networks moving ahead after the BSNL order that came in for TCS Tejas Duo about two or three days back. We saw KPIT Tech. Um, now move into the four-figure mark. This is an expensive IT ERD company, but continues to rise and shine back on the back of auto demand. And Indus Towers, uh, brokerages have rated it a new buy, a couple of them uh, overnight, and that stock did really well for itself. Then I was looking at the results impact that came in. So JB Chemicals, 7% higher, extremely strong showing on the numbers. Aptek, Big jump in revenues, good margin performance. That stock was up about 5-6%. And from amongst losers was Strident, the Terry Towel manufacturer, corrected about 4-5% if I'm not wrong. And Strides Pharma had a corrective move as well on the back of the numbers that came out during market hours today. And then some stocks in focus. So starting with Cummins, Shale Hotels, Z Entertainment and Tata Chemicals, all of which had news flow and reacted duly.